So this video is all about the reasoning behind why I recorded five videos in five days on the same topic. Now, the big question for everyone, and you can see it here in big red bold letters, is why? Why did I record five videos in five days on the same topic? Well, I'm going to give you the answer to that, and I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step instructions for you to follow and replicate in your own business as well. But before we get there, and if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my weekly content. And as always, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. And here to see for everyone is my last five videos that I recorded, five videos in five days, all on the same topic. And now that topic happened to be all about LinkedIn's new polling feature. LinkedIn polls, question and answer, new LinkedIn features, uh, LinkedIn polling from mobile, LinkedIn polling from company page, create a LinkedIn poll. And the idea of that exercise is, and everyone can replicate this, is to create and have lots of content online ahead of a new product launch or a new feature launch, feature launch for your own business or brand. Now, or whatever the upcoming event may be. Now, think it of along the lines of a content blitz. Now, I've had other people uh, describe it as content stacking, but the idea is to be ahead of the curve, to be ahead of everyone else. And in my cases, five videos in five days, just after the new launch of LinkedIn's polling feature. Now, at the time of LinkedIn releasing their polling feature, there was only a few videos online as well. And these were all went back from years and years and years. People had worked out various other ways how to create polls and use a Google Chrome extension to do it. This particular video here was ranking. Um, it had a thousand views, but it was recorded eight months ago. This particular one here was recorded seven years ago. This particular one was recorded eight years ago. But you can now see when I've done the screenshot, my video was started to be populated amongst these. But think of this video here, the first one, then the third one, and the fourth one. They were the type of videos that were online around LinkedIn's polling feature, all very old, all many, many years ago. So I thought, hey, there's an opportunity for me to start ranking ahead of everyone. So think of it another way. It becomes a bit of a supply and demand. When more and more people start searching for a feature or a product or a service, um, whoever has the, the content there online can start dominating. Now, some of you might be thinking, Mark, what is the LinkedIn polling feature? Or you might even be thinking, Mark, polling has been available across websites and blog articles and Facebook and YouTube and various other platforms for years and years and year. And you are correct. That's right. It has been across all these other platforms. LinkedIn have been a little bit slow in the update. But here is um, my LinkedIn timeline. And here is a poll from uh, Raul Sanchez. And he's doing a poll. Um, if I click translation, what's this one all about? Um, we're launching a show. Let's see how this blah, 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 blah. Anyway, a little bit too long. But that is the LinkedIn polling in in real life on my LinkedIn timeline. I'm sh quite sure if I scroll down my timeline, I'm gonna come across a few more polls within a relatively short period of time. Can you vote on your own LinkedIn survey? Well, here we go. Yes, you can. Um, yes, only if it's your voice first. No, I can't. I don't know why. Yes, always. Anyway, I voted on that one, 29%. And you can see how the poll works in action and real life. Here we go. How many hashtags work well for getting visibility when it comes to current LinkedIn algorithms? I, four, I tag sparingly. I tag as much as I can. Well, they should have given me another option. I would say I've actually done a video on this and I will link the video in the comment section below. I always say three to five. So I'm going to tick four on this one. 60% of people, there we go, it is right in the sweet spot, three to five. So that is the LinkedIn polling feature in action. So how is all of this translating into views and my channel growing? Okay, now I've done this for two reasons. I've done it for the initial burst that people are going to start searching for the LinkedIn polling. But all of these five videos that I've recorded and upload, these are now going to be online, my YouTube channel, online Google search forever and a day. So 300 views, 180, 70, and 50. 
bearing in mind they've all only been online just over a week or so. And I will grant you this um, topic of LinkedIn polling is not going to be overly popular for people to do lots of searching on it. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to test this exercise of creating um, you know, a content blitz on, on, on three to five videos on a new particular topic get it online so I could um, see the result, so I can learn from the result, and I could teach you all there in YouTube and Google Land as well how to do exactly the same thing. So I'm probably a little bit disappointed with the number of views I've had, but while saying, um, you know, these, these are going to be greenfield, um, you know, videos, meaning they're going to be online now forever, and I'm quite sure over the next weeks and months, these views will all tip a thousand or so and beyond and all of this will help grow my own business and brand. They will also help grow my YouTube channel, which is part of the exercise as well. So let me show you actually some of the results on how my videos have fared in regard to where are they appearing on YouTube search and Google search as well. So here is a couple of screenshots of me searching on YouTube regarding the new LinkedIn polling feature. And you can see straight away, my thumbnails are very visual, first, second, third, and fourth. So I am um, holding four of the six top ranking positions on YouTube under the search term LinkedIn polling. Now, just in case anyone is wondering, I wasn't logged into YouTube at the time and I had cleared my cookies as well. And this is the result that it gave me. Now, this will um, vary for every different person who, who does a search on Google or YouTube. It's not going to be the same for everyone. Now, another example one, I Googled new LinkedIn polling feature. First page of Google right at the top, third result, my three videos have appeared in a row. And you can see right down the bottom, the first one is only a day, four days, three days ago. So this is how powerful this feature can be. I spent a little bit of time and effort once, and now my videos are online, and think how you're gonna replicate it for your business, your products, your services, and if we do everything correctly, these are the type of results all of us can achieve. Now, another particular screenshot I took, um, it was a Google search, and then I clicked the video tabs under the search term LinkedIn polling, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, these rankings may change over time. That doesn't mean I'm always going to be atop of the rankings. And for some of others who are searching from this term, my videos may not even appear high in the rankings. It's a, a specific search um, LinkedIn determined, or sorry, Google and YouTube determine the algorithm and put in front of me the most relevant content. And the final screenshot I'm going to show you again is LinkedIn polling, um, again, three particular videos, front and center, right at the top of the Google search. But let's go do some live um, YouTube searching now and see where my videos are ranking again, which is a few days later after all of these videos have been uploaded. So as I type in new LinkedIn polling, let's see where my videos are ranking as of today, a few days after all of my videos were launched. So here we go. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So I'm five of the top, uh, what was it? Five of the top seven. Um, this was a video. See, this particular video is still eight months ago. It has authority. It has credibility under the Google and YouTube certs. So that's why it is ranking. But you can see how visual all of my videos are now appearing. Let's try a different searching term. So if I key in LinkedIn polls, let me see. I'm first. I am fifth and sixth and seventh. So each time you do a particular search and each time I do the search, um, not logged in or using someone else's browser, a different combination will come up here. But the idea of the exercise is my thumbnail stand out, my title stands out. I have five videos ranking on Google, no doubt on, oh, sorry, ranking on YouTube. No doubt they're ranking in Google as well. The idea of the exercise is to have a content blitz, to have some content stacking. So when someone is searching for it, um, I appear high in the rankings. Now, I want you all to start, you know, racking your brain, starting to think how you might start 
replicating this across your own business and brand as well. So there we go. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. And I've opened your eyes to the possibility of, um, you know, creating a content blitz or a content stacking around a, an upcoming event or a new product launch or just something that's exciting happening with own, within your own business or brand as well. So remembering um, clear instructions in this video, the reason behind doing it, you want to see if you can start dominating the searches on YouTube. YouTube and, and Google and any, I suppose anywhere else online, you know, by creating lots and lots of videos on or around the same topic, changing them each but each different, um, each time slightly different. But the idea is that if someone is Googling your product or service, you're going to have lots and lots of video content online for them to, um, you know, consume. And then all of this is about growing your own business and brand as well. So here are those five videos again. Now I'm actually recording an update to this video, and a few months have go, and a few months have gone past now since I did the original one. And some of the the, the, mo the most popular one in this video have now had over 3,000 views. Um, some of them only a few hundred still, but it was definitely a worthwhile while exercise. What I'd like you to do now is go to the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on content blitzing or content stacking, um, whether you can see um, it would be useful in your business and brand. Um, and if you've done it yourself as well, leave me a comment and, and maybe even leave me a link to one of your videos. I would love to check that out as well. While you're on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. Um, remembering to tick the bell notification that way you won't miss out on my weekly uploads. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon in another one of my videos.